So if you've been playing Wuthering Waves, you may have seen this character, Chung Li. You know, we rode a bow with her. She looked glorious in battle. I, I don't know how you wouldn't be interested in her. Well, her banner released and her companion stories also we get to know her better. So let's get ready to get shafted. I Why do I do more summons? So the very first thing I did was summon on the Cheng Li banner that contained more Tefi, Tao Chi, and Bai Ji. The first summon went as expected and I got a duplicate of Bai Ji, but that's okay. No problem. The second summon didn't change that much. I got another duplicate of that Bai Ji, but you know what? That That's fine. The third summon was a duplicate of Yanwu, and it's like, okay, buddy. He's not even on the rate of Liz. And then on the fourth summon was the exact same as the first two, and now I want to turn off the game. But finally, on the fifth summon, I got the five star character. Now, you would think I would be hyped at first and start kicking my legs, but what I didn't show was that during the Jinsi banner, I did like two or three additional summons. So in total, that was like a a hard pity summon. But at least I beat the 50-50 and got Cheng Li. <laughs> oh my god, I dropped something. What is that? That's part of my chair. <laughs> my armrest fell. That was so hyped, my armrest fell. How do I put this back on? Okay. Dude. This art is so beautiful. Look at this. She's so beautiful. God, I love it. I love it so much. I also did some weapon summons for her, but I didn't get anything and I don't want to talk about it. So I made my way to Hongzhen to start her story and there was an old man telling a story to the town folk. A story about a woodcutter who played a game called... Uh... Wakey. Wakey. <laughs> wakey wakey eggs and bakey. A, a story about a woodcutter after finishing a game of wakey, realizing that time has changed and where his loved ones are gone and no one remembers him. Fortunately though, you know, no one seemed to believe the old man's story, so he goes on to tell another story about immortality. And just as we were about to listen to the old man's story, oh my god. Hello there. She ends up giving us some envelope and then randomly disappears, but immediately Abby and I had the same thought. Which is what? She's what you want. <laughs> I'm about to start kicking my feet in my bed and putting my hands all over the place, dude. What? She what now? It was just some riddle to go find her. So let's go find her. The tallest building in Hongxin to see what you're looking for. But what if I'm afraid of heights? Wish I could have one more look at Chung Yuli. Me too. Find the place next to a ring and hanging eaves. What? So if we were to break it down next to a ring, what ring? Ring! You look like a ring. But it's also nowhere near the map. So like, it has absolutely nothing to do with that. Next to a ring and hang eaves. Next to a ring. Hang eaves. What is hang eaves? What is eaves? Eaves, the edges of the roof which overhang the face of a wall. This wouldn't happen to be this random place that I just ran into. Or even higher. Where's the ring? I see it. I see it. I didn't Google. <laughs> Just from that hint, we were able to find her across the map. But she looks stunning, so it didn't really bother me. Did I have to solve a riddle just to be here? It was so worth it. Though. It's okay. It's okay. I just got here. Don't worry. <laughs> got to say the line. I hate myself, honestly. She asks us if the wakey game looks familiar. Absolutely not. And then asks us if we know anything about the immortality story. But ma'am, please, I don't even know who I am. And apparently I had a giant dragon as my sidekick. She then proceeds to tell us a different version of the immortality story. Basically, there's two kids that met on Mount Firmament and played wakey. And then one day, a lost woodcutter came in and was so mesmerized by the game, he panicked and bumped into their game. They weren't mad, so they brought the lost woodcutter down the mountain, and then all of a sudden, one of the kids disappears. Years later, they reunite on Mount Firmament, and then they finally resume their unfinished game of Wakey. It's believed that the secret of immortality shared through this Wakey pieces, but you know what? The last 20 moves weren't finished. They're telling me after all of those years and they didn't think. Now, the reason she actually tells us this is because there's actually a message within that wakey game. It basically says like this game can solve the crisis of time. So she wants us to help her look for it. Yes. And now it's time to go on an adventure with Chang Li. I will be there every hour early. I'm coming. I am. It's all right. Take your time. I will wait for you for days if I have to prepare yourself. That's all right. 
Oh, wow. She looks like someone's more excited than I am. She got here fast. So we make our way towards Mount Firmament, and then we see the entire city of Hongxin. But I was more distracted with something else. <laughs> the, the tad's a Discord, of course. A Abby smelt them and a human from the cave, and we went to go look into it. Hello! I'm here! What just happened? Yeah, don't like I got it. I gotcha. Wait, hold on. But did my Chung Lee just suck so bad that the game had to give me their own? <laughs> it's not that bad, okay? I have my own. I don't need your help. My Chung Lee was not that bad. Hold on, we'll build this, huh? 60 so okay, that's a lot better than mine. I was not ready with mine. What do you have? These are definitely not mine. They couldn't even give me a wild version of her. Come on. I can't afford it, so at least give me a demo of her. So the dude was hurt, he was saying something about he finally found it, and that he came to explore Mount Firmament because of the stories. And he just randomly brings up his girlfriend, I didn't ask. Fooling. You ain't fooling anybody, bruh. So we brought him back to town and met up with his girlfriend, Fooling. And it turns out she's actually really sick. That boy if you over here, Wooly, he's been trying to find a way to help her. Then he just passed out. Careful now, <laughs> you'll, you'll catch a cold on the, on, on the ground. <laughs> Anyway, the place that Wooly found was actually a place where time stood still. So if Fooling were to stay there, her condition wouldn't worsen. But little did he know that that place that he found was actually dangerous and we had to get rid of it. And Fooling wasn't a big fan of the idea anyway, so she actually encourages us to do that. Also, Fooling, I'm so sorry for making fun of your name. You, t I, f I was fooling myself. So you, you're cool. You're cool. I appreciate you. Love the hat, love the fit, slaying, looking great. Get the tissue box next to you, blow your nose, get better, um, get some rest. I am going to go talk to the gilf now. So we tell the deets to Zinni, but there are actually some concerns we don't know about. Like Wooly said he was gone for half a day, but it's been seven. Is there a hidden temporal disruption when it should have been dealt with before reopening to the public? Where did Wooly get his information about the place we found him? Why am I sitting here rethinking my life choices? Okay, let's go investigate. So we head back to the temporal disruption where we found Wooly and we found his stuff. And although there was a lot of text and I didn't feel like reading, we have Cheng Li giving us a TLDR. So first we have a letter from Fooling who wants to make the most of the remaining time she has left with Wooly and try to fulfill their dreams. And then there's also a diary from Wooly that explains that he saw a man in red and he told him about the place where time stood still. But if Wooly were to reach this place, he would be trapped there forever. Now it seems like everything we found so far was pointing towards the temporal disruption and the wakey game story. And so we move forward and hey look, it's a wakey board. On the side we see a mirage of an old man. Wait, wait a minute, is that me? We talked about their game of wakey and Cheng Li mentions that that voice of the old man was her master's while the other dude is unknown. But come on now, I know a handsome fellow when I see one. Then we end up finding some sussy looking exiles. And then we continue to listen to the old man and he kept losing to his friend. Kind of sounds like the story we've been through this entire video, huh? The old man then requests for one final game and then disappears. And we see the wakey board activating. Gosh darn it, we were having a moment, man. Leave me alone. Ooh, air combat. Let's go. Come on, we're done yet. No, I'm sorry. It's not your turn. It will never be your turn. Not while I'm around. Why did this appear? No idea. But the fata 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 said to us that they wouldn't let us pass and they called me special. Thank you. Then they let us chase them inside. But they called me special. Thank you. Where am I? Wait, it is this place. Tali? Where'd you go? Don't leave me! Child! Chang Li? Child? So I was gonna say like a little pun with fire, but if I said that, with this day and age nowadays, I'd get cancelled. She's cool. Let's go with that. We see a young Cheng Li, but she doesn't trust anyone. As she should. We get her to take us someplace safe, but she's hurt, but way too precious. We can't abandon her. We go through a bunch of puzzles and little Cheng Li's doing such a great job, I could cry. And on the way, we find Taz at Discord's and little Cheng Li says she'll protect us with her forte. But no, I protect you. Along the way, we find out that Cheng Li's village was destroyed by these monsters and she was left all alone. She blames herself for not being able to do anything and we continue on. She's also just very sweet. Like, look, she found something edible and then offered to heat it up and give it to us. 
Can we adopt her? As we continue to do more puzzles and fight more tacit discords, we see little Ching Li a bit hurt from not being able to control her forte properly. She's dedicated to learn how to use it so she's able to protect those that protected her. She's just so precious, man. After solving another puzzle, we see a mirage of an older Cheng Li and switch to her POV. We learn a little bit more about her childhood and how she was mistreated and how she fought to survive. We even see how Cheng Li met her master and when she struggled for food and became his apprentice. And after reaching the end of the Sonosphere, we find a mirage of us and little Cheng Li again. Switching back to our original POV, little Cheng Li starts to remember something and starts questioning everything. God, where did I bring her? I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to bring some weird place. This place is nice. <laughs> she looks beautiful here. Wow. Got all those memories flooding in. It's gotta be a, uh, a handful. Hey, been looking for you. Hi, how are you doing? No problem. Great to see you again. Oh, okay. Well, uh, <clears throat> that was short lived. I forgot about them, I'm not gonna lie. Hey Here I come, gamers! Haha, <laughs> yes, sir! Oops. A little one two combo. Oh. If I need my friends of liberation, I don't have it. What a waste. What is that? I'm in bottom five, big. Bob. I will finish it with Changli. Here you go. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Hanukkah. Yeah, I get to show my power. Hey, oh! I didn't crit. Were you healed, sir? Please. God damn, that did that, that the damage. I'm coming! I told you I'll protect you! I better not lose that sword. That was expensive. You're protecting me now. No, we do this together. I told you. It's better with the balls of us. Oh, thank you, ma'am. It was very freezing. I'm feeling warm and fuzzy already. She's so glorious, man. It's gonna be my new wallpaper. I guess you could say that was <coughs> hot. <laughs> Got him. That was <coughs> fire. <laughs> And she's flying majestically. What is this? <laughs> nice job out there. You did good. You're not hurting. <laughs> 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 
I'm so happy for you. Why does that make me happy after seeing the backstory? And I love that background. Hold on. How do I get that saved? Someone screenshot that without me in there. So we return back and see everyone waiting for us. We report what happened to Zinyi, and then Cheng Li helps Fu Ling find some doctors for her condition, and then we live happily ever after. <laughs> nah, screw that. We need to see Cheng Li one more time. So we talked about the purpose of that adventure and how her master wanted her to find the friend that he played Wakey with. You know, us. And we were able to confirm Cheng Li was able to use her powers properly. Or at least better than before. And finally, she asked to finish the game of Wakey that was unfinished from her master. But We're gonna finish it? Do we even... Do we remember how to play? I will beat you. I ain't gonna lose my winning streak. Just because your master lost to me doesn't mean that you can beat the prophecy. How do you play? ならば Oh. oh, yeah, of course. I like that though. What a sweet ending. I like this. I enjoyed it. Did I win? Hold on. Wait, hold on. First things first. Did I win? We don't take Noelle's. Don't tell me I lost my winning streak. Wait. Did I win? Wait. <laughs> did, answer the question. Did I win?